Hi, I'm Christy, and today I'm going to give you the answer to sales. I'm Christy, and today uh, we're going to be talking about sales. Even if you're not a salesperson or you're a beginner salesperson, I'm going to give you tips to be more confident, approach sales with a totally different perspective, and get the sale closed. If this is a topic that interests you, click on the subscribe button. I'm going to make more videos about this topic to help you be a better salesperson, even if you're not one. And click on the little notification bell so let you know when I've got a new video up about the topic or other topics. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section down below. I'm happy to answer any questions. So I started my sales career at the ripe old age of 17 as a sales clerk in the store Chess King in the mall. It's not even around anymore, but I love that store so much and I loved that job. Never done sales before in my life. My other only other job was McDonald's and a pizza place. So I'd never even worked sales. But I liked guys and I liked the idea of working in a men's clothing boutique where I could possibly get to dress and undress men. Who can go wrong with that? And this is back in the day when malls were huge and everybody spent every waking moment at the mall. So even if you didn't work, you were still at the mall hanging out. Now, when I first became a salesperson there, their training manual was pretty thick, just like any others, but they had a program that they called The Answer. And it was so simple. And it has served me well throughout my life. Any job sales or marketing related that I've ever done, I've applied this technique and it's worked like a charm. Inside sales, outside sales, even, like I said, if you don't consider yourself a salesperson, it's worked perfectly. It's called the answer because those letters stand for six different things. A, approach the customer and determine the customer's needs. S, show the merchandise. W, welcome and overcome objections. E, encourage the closing of the sale. And, and R, suggest related merchandise. Super simple. And I'm going to break it down for you how it works. So the A, approach the customer. That's if someone comes into the store, you're like, hey, how are you doing today? What can I help you find? Open-ended questions are so crucial when you're selling anything or marketing anything. You're saying, but how can that apply to me? I'm just a guy playing in a band on a stage. Well, you're greeting your customers, the people in the audience, aren't you? If you're an artist, you're welcoming people into your gallery. Or maybe if someone sees you on the street, realizes you're an artist, maybe they want to talk to you about doing a mural for them. So there's different ways of approaching customers and different ways of meeting customers. You got to figure out which way works best for you. Then as you, with the open-ended questions, you're figuring out what that customer potential or otherwise needs. You got to find out what they want, what they're looking for. Maybe it's something they need that they didn't even know that they needed. Some problem they have that you can provide the solution to. So when you're asking these open-ended questions, you're not only finding out a lot about them, you're building confidence, you're building trust, you're building a relationship with that potential customer. And you might even find out that you don't have anything they need. Maybe it's not a, a, a good fit for you as a client. You find so much out by asking the questions. Now you've gone through all that, you've asked the questions, you've got to know them, you've got to figure out what they need. Now it's time for you to show the merchandise. That could be like, oh, maybe they're going to go to court and they need a nice shirt. Well, here, let me bring you over here. Oh, but let's go back to the band, but I'm just in a band. They've come to see you. You are showing them like, here's some t-shirts for sale. Here's my CD you can download. Here's a CD physically that's for sale. You gotta show your wares. What talent do you have to bring? What solution do you have for their problem. This is more than showing, you can show benefits of a product or your service, but it's better to show that you are solving some sort of problem or need that they have. You have something that can fulfill that void. Well, they could be like, well, I just don't have the money right now, or it's just bad timing, or like, oh, I don't know that I really want that. You gotta figure out what their objection is. Usually it's never what they say it is. It's something a little bit deeper. So you've gotta ask those open-ended questions to really get to the root of what is the issue. You know, if they're saying price, well, maybe it's not price. Maybe they're, they're not realizing the quality of your product or service. Maybe if they're saying time, 
it's really some other reason that you're needing to get to the bottom of. To welcome, don't be uh, put off by these objections. It's fine. No biggie. We'll get over that, over that, over that hump. You just got to ask the right questions to get to what their objection really truly is. And usually it's just them feeling insecure, maybe even fear-based, and you've just got to feel them Make them feel a little bit more comfortable and know that you're a professional, you're the expert, you're not taking advantage of them, you want to build this relationship because you want to have repeat business. You can sell anything to anybody once. It's getting them to come back and sell to them again that's key and super important for you. And it's going to make you an even more successful salesperson. Now you've overcome the objections, now it's time for closing the sale. And that can be as simple as, can I take this up to the counter for you? Or is this cash or card? So once you've made them commit that they want to buy what you've got to offer, then suggest related merchandise. Say you're that band again. You They come to your merchandise desk. They see, oh man, I'm going to get that t-shirt. Well, that t-shirt for $20 for five more, we'll throw in a five song LP. Or say they want to buy one CD for 10 bucks. You can say for five bucks more, I'm throwing this other CD. So you're making more money off of adding to the sales that they're already doing. So for instance, the guy that's wanting to go to court, you've shown him a shirt, he likes it. Well, look at this tie that goes perfectly with it. You've added on to your sale. And it's better than just saying, well, do you need a tie with that? Do you need socks to go with the shoes you're just buying? When they see them together, it's putting an image in their head other than just you verbalizing saying the words. If they can actually see it in action, the t-shirt coupled with the CD, the tie coupled with the shirt, it's going to make much more of an impact than just you saying, would you like some socks to go with that? Would you like some fries with that? See the difference? And everyone is a salesperson. I don't care if you're an artist, you're selling your art to someone. If you're a musician, you're selling your music, your t-shirts. You're selling yourself to the bookers, getting them to want to book your band. If you're an actor, you're selling everything. Your look, your voice, your acting skills, your personality. Everybody is selling something at some point in your life. Whether you realize it or not, everything is sales. And I want to make you a better salesperson. So if you're interested in learning more, click on the link below. I'm going to give you a free answer worksheet. With this worksheet, you can pinpoint maybe what questions you need to ask, what needs you can fulfill, what merchandise do you have to show, and so on and so on. It'll be great practice for you. It'll get you to really think about what is it you have to offer? What does your product have to sell? What is your service that you're offering? I've used the answer even today in starting my own business. I started it, I needed to know where my customers were. How I, was I gonna approach them? Was it gonna be them finding me on my website? Was it gonna be them finding me on TripAdvisor? Then I had to determine what was their need? What are they coming to Nashville for? Well, for the music. So I made an entire tour just around them having the experience of the music, but I added extra value by saying, well, it's a sightseeing tour too. So I'm kind of already adding the suggested merchandise at the beginning of the sale anyway. So you don't actually have to go in that order, but it's a, a logical progression. So once they look at the website, once they look at reviews, they're seeing what I have to offer. They're seeing the pictures, seeing videos. Then once they sent the reservation, rarely do they have any kind of objection because they're doing most of the booking online. Now my website is super basic, but it has all the information. Any question that you would possibly ask is gonna be on that website. So, so I'm being proactive in doing my objections up front. If they need to know something, all that information is provided right there in the website. And the plus is, you go, you've got a good product, they're enjoying it, they have a good time, you've got a good service, they're enjoying that. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna tell other people. People are going to talk when they have a bad experience, but they're really going to talk and be your champion if they have a great experience. And they're going to come back for more. I've got a guy that's taken my tour eight times. Eight times. Have I changed my tour? Not really. But he knows he's getting good quality. He knows that the friends that he's bringing are going to have a great time. So you've got to have a product that has value. And you've got to believe in that product. You've got to be proud of this product or service or all the answers in the world won't matter. If, if you can't sell that you believe in this product, no one's gonna buy it either. You've gotta have the enthusiasm for the product and it's gotta be genuine. So if you've liked what you've heard, if you wanna learn more, 
click on the subscribe button. I'm going to post more videos like this, giving you more information. So you're going to be a better salesperson, even if you're not one or you're a beginner salesperson. Click on the notification button so that way you'll get a little ding ding when I've got a new video coming up. Thumbs up if you liked it or you learned something from it so I know that you're getting something out of it. Any comments or questions, put them in below because I'd be happy to answer anything. And I want to know what you're feeling, where you're at, what maybe you're needing to learn more of. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it so much and see you soon.